Hey, what's up, guys? Pallab here from NothingWire.com, and today we're looking at the Asus Zenfone Zoom that was released last month. Uh, we already did an unboxing and first look of this device, so this is the full review. I'm just gonna show you what's inside the box again. So that's a black box. You can see some of the quick specs out there. ZX 551ML. This one. This is a 128 GB version. So you have 5.5 inch screen and 13 MP plus 5 MP camera. But this 13 MP camera has a 3x optical zoom plus 4x digital zoom. And then you have what's inside the box, and it's powered by an Intel uh, chipset Z3590, which is 2.5 gigahertz supports 4g and 128 gb black color supports lte and all those chairs so let's quickly show you what's inside the box it's very elegantly packed it is a premium device this one cost about thirty-seven thousand on launch so that's the one and there's a big camera module there because of that um you know the 3x zoom they have to uh, make the module slightly bigger we'll come back to the phone in just a bit you have the lanyard here and then you have the micro USB 2.0 cable and then you have the very premium looking earphones with gold plated audio jack and then you do not have volume rockers though only the call control and mic you have extra earbuds two pairs and then the USB wall adapter to ampere output and that's adapter of the USB adapter yeah so manuals like the warranty card and then the user guide so that's about the content of the box really now coming back to the phone here it's a heavy phone but mainly because of that optical module around it's a big optical module you also have kind of a hole here which is not of much use though but still the back side has this nice fox leather finish that gives a great hole on the device 5.5 inch screen rest of this looks pretty much like the Zen phone 2 which is uh, not necessarily a bad thing it's a good thing rather so you have this metal part the black one has this nice bronze touch on the back uh, the buttons are metal buttons they give great tactile feedback plus you have a shutter a still button and then a video button as well that's kind of that's gonna be something of a first I guess micro USB 2.0 port and that's the eyelet for your lanyard 3.5 mm jack and two mics one here and one at the bottom you can open the back flap uh, which is very very tough the back flap and it takes a bit of effort and then you have your uh, sim card and micro sd card slots over there of course it has 128 gb built in you also get a 64 gb i'm not sure if you get a 32 gb though but overall it's a hefty device but well somehow feel comfortable in hand phone takes a long time to boot up there's something to take note of i think over 30 seconds the display is well bright enough but not the crispest of them and the icons and all face they do not look very pixelated and if you want to go and check out a photo around here maybe this one you'll see that uh, the viewing angles are also quite decent they're not bad yeah above average so overall a decent enough display now this guy is powered by android lollipop i can go to the settings and confirm that in about 5.0 it's not 5.1 though we haven't got any updates yet and then we can go to uh, storage here and out of 128 gb it says that 112 gb are available let's check out how much of the ram it uses uh, so out of 4 GB, 2.3 GB are available when there is nothing running in the background or there are a few things. But still, I think 2.3 GB is good enough. So like uh, the Zen UI, it's quite stable, smooth, fluidic, and I like it on top of my stock Android. It has a proper dedicated app drawer, you can see. And there's a notification bar. I like all the icons and even the keyboard and all that comes with it. They are big. They are very, very legible and easy to use. Even, uh, even let's say for the aged ones. 
So you have your typical Google Android apps, you have lots of third party apps and you have lots of in-house apps as well. But you can uninstall the third party apps. So overall a very smooth UI. Now talking about the USB of the device, the camera, you will see that it takes just a tad bit longer than usual to start up. That may be because it kind of arranges the lens elements in places. Now it's quite fast. Yeah. And you can adjust your exposure, white balance and those kind of stuff. Yeah. You can simply go here and go up to 3x which is optical zoom and it does not lose any quality uh, beyond that is the digital zoom and loses quality i would never use digital zoom so i would generally go up to 3x which is decent enough for a phone at least you're getting some optical uh, zoom again you see take some time and that's the front camera which is bright enough again does not lag much it has a self timer has a beautify feature see and it's a good enough camera what really interesting here are the um, manual modes so you can go and customize almost every possible settings that you can imagine on a camera autofocus, man, manual focus, shutter speed, ISO, and the exposure compensation, white balance and those kind of things. You can also go here, let's see. You can simply tap M to go to manual mode and auto to go to auto mode. And then you also have many other shooting modes including the very popular Pixel Master low light camera. Now we check the image and video quality of this phone and they are very very good under enough light they give great details the 3x zoom is perfect does not lose any quality at all even the videos are sharp almost end to end but when it comes to low light the, um, the camera shows a slight bit of noise and when you stretch it a bit far then uh, there are too much of noise but that's uh, generally expected from a phone camera but at this price point 37,000 expected slightly better low light performance from this camera overall a very decent camera You can see how good uh, the speaker output is. We've always loved the Zenfone speaker output. This one is no different. Uh, bass heavy, loud enough. The treble is also perfect all in all. One well, of the best speaker output I can see. Um, the speaker output does not mean have to be the loudest, but it has to be a perfect balance between the loudness, uh, the bass and the treble. And that's what I see here. There's also no crackling whatsoever. The Zenfone Zoom gave us about just over 9 hours of battery life which considering it has to move some uh, you know, mechanical part here more than some of the other cameras because of the 3x optical zoom uh, quite decent. I suspected that because of that if I often use the camera I would get a very low battery life but that wasn't the case so considering that I would give it to the Zenfone Zoom. We did some benchmark testing and uh, gameplay testing. This device performed very decently in both these areas. So then guys, do you want to buy the Zenfone Zoom? Now the pros are mainly obviously the camera quality under enough light there. Uh, you have the 3x optical zoom. You also have some dedicated um, you know, buttons here. Very premium body and feel. Uh, well, um, the cons would be, I think the camera performance under low light. The camera is slightly sluggish and uh, well the price mainly because 37,000 is a lot for only 3x optical zoom because the rest of the spec sheet well it's not not to 37,000 you get that spec sheet for about you know uh, under 20,000 as well of course this one has 128 GB so accordingly your price will be 
um, you know 37 or less but still that's a tad bit on the more expensive size now we've seen um, this kind of phones before we've seen the Galaxy K zoom which wasn't very uh, popular wasn't very nice but the S4 zoom was quite good it was priced just over this um, you know at its launch and it has a massive uh, 10x zoom that phone still holds true and when you compare to that 3x optical zoom is nothing so consider that i think uh, asus is taking slight premium for that 3x optical zoom which uh, for me well they can but probably 37,000 is that bit too much so some people might find it um, you know very expensive but if you wanted an optical zoom in your phone if you did not want to buy a point and shoot dedicated camera then this phone might just be for you if you like this video please hit the like button ask anything related to this and we'll try to answer them all and please subscribe to our channel and share this video to share the love thank you